Hi everyone, it's Eve here, and today I invited Adrian Beck to talk with me. Adrian, can you please introduce yourself? Hi Eve, yes, my name is Adrian Beck, and I'm an Emeritus Professor at the University of Leicester in the United Kingdom. Great, and this talk is actually around ECR monthly video group discussions, but before we talk about this week's discussion, can you please tell us a little bit more about what ECR is? Sure, yeah, the ECR Retail Loss Group has been in existence now for over 20 years and its purpose is to uh, provide a platform and a forum for uh, retailers and manufacturers in Europe to come together and really begin to try and create new ways and new ideas to try and address the issues around loss prevention within the industry. This is very useful and interesting for our customers as well to have this independent user group where they can share their ideas. So this week's um, uh, group discussion was around Video Tsar. So uh, I will ask you to explain who Video Tsar is, but for me it was fascinated that uh, Dragon uh, from Starbucks was taking us on their journey of decision making in choosing the platform rather than uh, security uh, video management system. So it was about thinking beyond security applications. So uh, you guys can read my article and take uh, and read my takeaways from the session. But Adrian, can you share your view on that? Sure, yeah, this, this is one of a series of um, uh, group sessions that we've got, which is really trying to bring alive the findings from a recent study that ECR funded looking at you know, how retailers are uh, making use of video technologies, including video analytics. And the, as you say, the focus of this session this week was very much on, you know, how can we begin to get some form of leadership within retail organizations to ensure that um, the company begins to benefit as much as possible from their investment. And certainly what the research found was that on the whole, Retail organizations lack that sense of a coordinated, you know, organizational leadership, somebody taking the lead, taking the role in ensuring that the business has a joined up approach to how it's going to not only decide what to invest in, but critically, as you say, how it can begin to get the maximum value from this investment. Um, and I thought what Tregan did extremely well was he he described his journey, how he, he you know, he started out as a very fragmented approach within his organization that lots of different people were taking different journeys in terms of using a range of types of video um, systems. And his role really was to say, look, we need to bring this together. We need to have an overarching organizational strategy as to what we want video to do. But then critically begin to say, well, how can we now begin to get the maximum value out of this investment? And, and certainly the big learning, I think, from that was Yes, traditionally, I think retailers have invested in uh, video systems primarily, uh, but not exclusively, to, to try and deal with issues around security. And I think what we're seeing now is absolutely there's still a strong business case for using it in that way. But certainly the developments in the technology now and the new platforms, as you mentioned, really begin to open it up for other parts of the organization, non-security parts of the organization, to begin to get some really interesting value out of that investment. And I thought Tragen, you know, explained that extreme, extremely well and really made a, a strong case for why video is so much more than just trying to deal with the issues of security. Yes, exactly. And I think we're in the age where the collaboration within uh, the organization is a key to actually optimize uh, your costs and uh, get the higher return on investment. Mm. But um, thank you for watching us. If you want to watch the full webinar, please use the link below to uh, request uh, the recording. It will be available for you and uh, like our video. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.